Hey, Nathan Holmquist here, and I'm going to show you my favorite method of finding inventory. And I started doing this method about 2007, 2008, when FBA first came out, and I use it to build up my inventory. Um, I think at my peak, my inventory was around 20, 25,000 books or so. It's dropped down since then, but this is one of the uh, strategies I use to build up my inventory. And the reason I like it is because it has one of the highest margins that I know of. Usually it's about a thousand percent or more profit margin. In other words, if you spend a dollar on it, you're going to get ten dollars back or ten times your money. The second reason I like it is because the costs are extremely low. It usually costs about ten to twenty cents to buy an item. Uh, so you're not going to be spending a lot of money. Uh, so it's a really great strategy to use if you're on a budget. The third reason I like it is because it's extremely low stress. Uh, it doesn't involve um, other um, other competition going to a preview night or a book sale where there's tons of other scanners there all pushing you and rushing towards a nonfiction section of the book sale. And the fourth reason I like it is because all the inventory is located in one spot, so you can go there spend two to three hours there and get out. It doesn't involve randomly driving around town to thrift stores or to Rite Aid hoping you might get lucky. So those are the four reasons I like it and I call this the library bag sale FBA strategy. And if you're not familiar with the library bag sale basically at the end the last day of the sale the library will cut the cost of the books to about three to five dollars a bag depending on the sale. Now most people just assume that everything that's good is gone, but that's completely untrue. So for this video, I'm going to show you why. And as you can see in this picture, I went to a small bag sale about a month ago, and I bought three bags. So for this video, I'm just going to show you some samples of the books I found, and what I'm going to be pricing it at, and why I'm pricing it at that, and what the profit will be afterwards. And... Um, yeah, I basically just said all that. So I'm also going to say why it works as well, why this strategy still works. Even though I, I did say I used it in 2008, but it still works in 2012, and I'm going to tell you why. There are some things you're going to need. You're going to need a scanner. You're going to need a car to get to the book sale. You're going to need access to booksalefinder.com, and you're going to need around 10 to $50. So for this video, this is a, a book sale I went to in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I bought 70 books, only paid $9 for it, $3 a bag, with an average price of $0.13 cents a book. Now, since these are going to FBA, I need to add $0.20 cents for outbound shipping. So really, it's going to be about $0.33 cents a book. So keep that in mind. There's an the ad on Book Sale Finder that I went to. Here's another sample ad just to know what to look for when you're on BooksaleFinder.com. This one has 120,000 books on it, and if you scroll down, there is a bag sale on the last day. I can nowhere guarantee this particular sale is good. I'm just saying that there's tons of huge book sales out there with over 100,000 books, and those are some good ones to, to try the bag sale strategy on. Now, as I said, you are going to need a scanner, and I'm just showing this picture just so you can see how big it is. It does fit in your hand. And there's a screenshot. I use Needle Scan. So those are, that's a screenshot of what you're looking at of when you're going to the book sale. And there's three reasons I really like to use this scanner. Uh, the first one is that everything fits in one hand. The scanner, the PDA, so you can use the other hand to grab books. So that's why I really like it. That's that's the number one reason. The second reason is it's extremely fast. Once you scan a barcode, you get the results back in less than a second because you don't need an internet connection. All the data is stored on an SD card in the PDA. So you can take it in a basement. You can take it anywhere. anywhere. You don't need an internet connection. So that's another reason why I really like it. And the third reason I like it is because Needle Scan shows FBA prices, as you can see on the right. So, this is a screenshot of a book that I bought at this sale, and I'm going to show you about three or four different screenshots. So this this one right here, as you can see on the left, has the five lowest used prices on Amazon, the five lowest new, 
two this one has two FBA prices and also it shows that Amazon is selling the product and it also has a pretty good rank of 93,000 so it'll probably sell in a month or two so if I sold this at seven dollars and forty seven cents if I match the lowest FBA seller and that's the same book on Amazon uh, same prices on Amazon if you wanted to compare the two so anyway, if I price this for at seven dollars and forty six cents after all the FBA fees, that leaves me with three dollars and sixty one cents. By the way, this is uh, FBA calculator. Just Google FBA calculator, and you can um, put in the costs, and you can see what you'll make after all the fees. So anyway, I'll be making three dollars and sixty one cents on this book. So I paid thirty three cents. I'll be making $3.61, so that's a 994% profit margin. Here's another example. These types of books I love at bag sales because if you look at it, it looks worthless and no one's going to touch this book. But if you look carefully, the FBA price has some value. It's $11.98. And the, the other great thing about this book is the ranking is really good. And this will probably sell within a week or two maybe a little longer depending on what the price is so I'll, if I price this at 11.98 and match the lowest FBA seller I'm going to make six dollars and seventy cents on this book or about a one thousand nine hundred thirty percent profit margin here's another example I'll probably set a floor on this one of 795 I like to set a bottom of 695 or 795 just to protect myself I may not always be the first FBA seller but I'll be first second or third so if I did a floor of seven ninety five, I'll make three dollars and sixty five cents on that book. And in case if you're wondering, I don't want to mess with these low cost books. I don't want to make three dollars a book. There's always going to be some expensive books that weren't found on the preview night, just because it's impossible for everyone to scan every single book. So there are going to be some good ones. For example, this is a fifty dollar book I found. It's got no FBA sellers and the rank is high or it's up there it's 1.5 million so it may take six months to sell maybe a year the storage fees are 12 cents for the entire year so I'm not going to worry about that so I probably could price this at 75 if I wanted to I'll probably be a little more conservative and price it at 59 and if I do that I'll make forty seven dollars on that book or a fourteen thousand one hundred fifty eight percent profit margin here's another good book I bought a twenty five dollar book a really good rank of of ten thousand. Um, you know this one is at the bag sale as well. This one actually sold. Um, this sale was about three weeks ago. This one are, this one sold within a week. So it's um, I pretty much paid for all my costs, all my expenses for that entire day just from this book. Now there are some books you want to avoid. Those are the penny penny books. A penny penny book is a book where the five lowest at least the five lowest used are going to be a penny, and the five lowest FBA prices are below four dollars. There was a time in 2008, 2009 where you could make a dollar forty on these books over and over and over and over again. I think I, I think at one point I was selling about a hundred a day uh, of these, and I was making you know a dollar forty, dollar forty minimum. And um, unfortunately, you can't make money on these books anymore. Um, so this is what you want to avoid. You're going to have to, you got all the FBA competition, and even if this sells at $3.82 with the new FBA fees, you're probably going to break even. So avoid these books. This was a dictionary. Um, I happen to need a dictionary, so I ended up buying this book. But um, those are books you want to avoid. So why does this strategy work? It works because only about 5 to 10% of sellers sell or booksellers sell on FBA according to a survey on booksellfinder.com so that means you as the FBA seller are a minority which is good because non FBA sellers they can't buy these lower price books because they can't sell at a premium they can't they can't up the price they can't they can't have a bottom of 795 or they can't sell 50% or $5 higher they can't do that Another disadvantage that non FBA sellers have is they can't is that they have to store all these books in their home. And who wants to have a bunch of one dollar, two dollar, three dollar books sitting in their home and when it sells, they're gonna have to package it up and ship it out. It just isn't convenient. It's not worth it. 
So for those two reasons, that's why there's this surplus of these of these lower cost books that you can get, and um, it's been that way for four years. I mean, it, it's it's a great way to get inventory, and I still do it that way. So that's why it works. There's still a small percentage of FBA sellers, a very high percent of these lower cost books. I'm not talking about penny books. I'm talking about books that have a, val a non-FBA value between 50 cents and around $3 that most people ignore. You as the FBA seller can price those at a premium of $7.95 or more and make the $3. So just something to think about if you sell the 100 of these a day at a $3 profit, that's $300 a day, or $109,000 a year. It's probably not realistic, but it's just something to think about. It's definitely realistic to sell 20 or 30 of these a day and have a nice, um, predictable income coming in. So in conclusion, think, how low can I get my buy price? Strategically match the other FBA sellers or set a floor of $795 and repeat, 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 just going there, buying these books in bulk, shipping them to your FBA account, and it's just a really great way to make uh, predictable income, side income, and if you're really serious about it, and if you really want to travel, you can hit these book sales, every, every single, depending on where you live, you can hit them every weekend and fill up your entire car, and just, it's a, it's a great way to build up your inventory. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.